Hey guys, how you doing? In this video, you will learn about the Max 3000 Pulse Oximeter Heart Rate Monitor Sensor and how we can use it to make a simple oximeter with ESP32 development board. Following are the things that I've used in this build. The Max 3000 Sensor Module, ESP32 Vroom D32 Pro, Breadboard, Jumper Wires and an Arduino Nano which was optional. The MAX 3000 is an integrated pulse oximeter and heart rate monitor sensor made by Maxim Integrated. It combines a photo detector, optimized optic and low noise analog signal processing to detect pulse oximetry and heart rate signals when we rest our fingertips on the sensor. It operates from 1.8 volt and 3.3 volt power source. To use this sensor properly, its module come with an onboard voltage regulator that regulates 5V into 3.3V for optimal working. It even have an on-chip temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is for calibrating the temperature dependency of the SPO02 subsystem. The SPO02 algorithm is relatively insensitive to the wavelength of the IR LED but the red LED's wavelength is critical to the correct interpretation of the data. The temperature sensor data can be used to compensate for the SPO2 error with ambient temperature changes. The MAX 3000 integrates red and IR LED driver to drive the LED pulses for SPO2 and heart rate measurement. The LED current can be programmed from 0 mA to 50 mA and we can do that by changing this line in the code. Here are few lines for the different current level. The more you increase the current of LED, the more will be the glow of LED and accuracy will increase drastically. But how does it measure the heart rate and blood oxygen level? So here's how the MAX 3000 sensor work. It contains two LEDs, one red LED and one infrared LED. Both of these LEDs have different wavelength, the 660 nanometer and 880 nanometer. When we place our fingers on the sensor, the both LEDs light goes into the fingertip and it gets reflected. A photo sensor pick up this light and calculates how much is the heart rate and what is the blood oxygen level. This process is known as photosmogram photoplethysmogram and it's widespread and used in similar medical equipments. As for sourcing the sensor module, I use PCBWay gift shop for ordering the sensor. Aside from PCB services, PCBWay also have a dedicated component store. PCB gift shop is an online marketplace from where we can source all the major electronic stuff like Arduino board, Raspberry Pi boards, module, sensor, etc. The PCBWay have this system that let us purchase anything from their gift shop through Beans. Beans are like redeemable currency or coupons that we can get by placing an order on PCBWay or by sharing your project in the PCBWay community to get the beans. Check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service at a less cost. Link is in video description. Before getting started, we first need to change something in the sensor module. Let me explain what and why. So this module is based on the MAX 3000 sensor and it requires two different voltages to work. One for the LEDs and one for the sensor itself. There are three 4.7K ohm resistors that are connected in between the SDA, SCL and INT signal lines and 1.8 volt from the voltage regulator. If we connect this module with an Arduino or ESP32 board that takes higher logic level like 3.3 volt and 5 volt, 1.8 logic level won't show up in the I2C bus and this module will be practically unusable. Here's the solution, we can cut down the track between SOT23 voltage regulator and the first register. Then we can add a connection between the first register pad and the other voltage regulator VCC, which was 3.3 volt. By doing this, the module will show up on I2C bus and will pick up the reading from it. As for the connection, I have used an ESP32 based Lowland D32 Pro board. But you can use any ESP32 development board or even Arduino board like Nano or Uno. The connection will stay the same for every development board. We add the VCC of the module to the 5V of the microcontroller. Ground to ground, 
SDA of the module to the SDA of microcontroller, which was D21 in ESP32. SCL of module to the SCL of microcontroller, which was D22 in ESP32. As for the code, I'm using two sketches in this tutorial. The first one is for getting the heart rate and blood oxygen level. And the other one is for getting raw data from both LEDs. And we can show them on this serial plotter. As for the library, we use the Max 3000 library by Oxilo, which can be downloaded from GitHub. Or you can search the library in the library manager and download it from there. For the first test, we will be measuring the heartbeat per minute and the blood oxygen level. We first upload this sketch to the setup and then open the serial monitor. We place our fingertip on the sensor and make sure to push down the module tightly and try not to move the fingertip or you will get false reading. Wait for 10 seconds as this is the minimum time required for the reading to get stabilized. Next, we use this sketch to get readings from the module and plot a graph in the serial plotter. We again push down the sensor with our fingertip and let the sensor settle down for 10 seconds. Here's the graph and the value of both LEDs are shown in different colors. Here's what I learned while tinkering with this setup. The Max 3000 sensor is an interesting device. It works on some level, but it's not precise enough to be used in a proper DIY oximeter setup. As for the version 2, I will be making an oximeter setup anyways by using the ESP32 room module with the Max 3000 sensor and an OLED display that will show the data readings. This is it for today, folks. I hope this small tutorial was helpful to you guys. If yes, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. Check out their page for getting all sort of PCB related services for economic cost. Thanks again and peace out.